Okay. So like if I'm doing in my stories, I usually do some sort of call to action every day, which is part of your tracker, right? Like that's one of your yeah. things in your stories is invitation, promote group, poll or call to action. I do it in one of two ways. I'll either do like a um, problem story or problem solution invite or, and I'll just kind of like talk it through. So that's like when I'm talking through like, hey, are you dealing with this? Are you dealing with this? You know, I was the same way. I've got these tools. I want you to join me. Or, when you have those little pop-up things pop up. Yeah, yeah. Or I'll do like um, the one I did for the fall group, which I'll throw all those Insta stories. I'll throw them in our team um, group, um, in our team thread, so that you can have them to add to your stories. Um, yeah. And I just add those in there, and then I do a poll. Polls are great, but polls, use them for other things too. Like don't just use them for um, invites. Like use them for like Nike or Adidas or ice cream or cupcakes. Use it for other stuff because people love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, I have not. Okay. Okay. Hey, Jill. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get us started, um, and I re am recording, so I am going to mute all and get us started. Okay, I'm so pumped, you guys, and for future reference, I will do these third week, not the last week of the month, but thank goodness for Shauna. Her and I have been chatting for a while, so Shauna and I met. I think like in our first year on our, well, it was first year of my journey when I was able to hop onto the retreat and go out to Utah, um, which was like the most nerve wracking thing I'd ever done because I didn't know anybody, never been to Utah in my life. Um, and one of the first friendly faces I met was Shauna. And talk about welcoming, like no judgment, like girl, come here, give me a hug because we had been chatting um, through message threads through under Micah for a while. And it was, one of the best things I ever did was go on this retreat, totally grew outside my comfort zone. And I was in awe by her fire, by her energy, by her light in her soul. Like she will light a room on fire. And sometimes I just sit there and love to listen to her chat or talk and chat in our messages because it's just like, oh girl. So I'm so pumped to have her here with us. And uh, we've since been on many other trips together and I hope we have plenty more down the road. Um, so we wanted to come in here and bring a little fire to end the month off. Um, we won't keep you long, but um, you guys, Shauna is amazing. So I'll let her go. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. So yes, Lauren and I met at this retreat and it's actually the topic of the call tonight is a mentor. Um, one of our corporate mentors is Doug Moss. He works with 15 Star Diamonds. And he, we were blessed to have him, what up G money? We were blessed to have him come and talk to us that day. So a little bit about me. I have been a coach. Um, I signed up in January of 2016, but I was one of those discount coaches where I was like, if you ask me to coach, I'm going to punch you. Like I have zero interest in that. I just want my shakes at a discount. And then probably like a year, I think it was February of 17. I started really coaching. And I was like, why am I sending all these people to her? I should be doing this myself. Like I should be making this commission and running these groups and I can do this. So, and it really was where everything flipped the switch, which I'm sure a lot of you have felt. That's where you really commit to your own journey is when you're coaching. And then for a while I ran groups with her and then she ended up leaving the business and I was adopted by Micah, which has been the best thing ever. So, um, it's been awesome. So I've been coaching. I'm a two star diamond and it's just been incredible. So I feel like you just take these stepping stones and I've fallen backwards and I'm digging my way back. And I think we all have these ebbs and flows, but it's just, my vision has never changed. I have been rock solid with that. Quitting is never going to be an option. There is no plan B. So the whole be here in a year, it's not just be here in a year. It's like commit to this year commit fully. Don't just check a box and be here in a year in the flesh, like really commit to your business because the possibilities are freaking endless, you guys, and it's all within you. So, okay. All right. So 
Doug Moss, I'm like his biggest fan, basically. And when he talks, I freaking listen to every single thing that he says. And I entered that retreat meeting Lauren, which was so awesome. Um, and I was a diamond. And I felt pretty stunted. Like I was stalled. I didn't, I didn't really feel like my business was advancing. I kind of felt stuck. And then he came and he talked to us about the traits of a leader and what a top coach looks like and behaves like and acts like. And it was these things. And I almost laminated my notes from that day. So that's kind of what I'm going to talk about with you guys, because that is where everything shifted. That is where everything changed and where I was like game effing on like the world is ours and we're moving mountains. So there are six things that he talked about that day. I'm going to go through them pretty quickly. And then if you guys have any questions at the end, fire away. Um, I have some extra time at the end, whatever you guys want to do. So one of the first things that he talked about was that they are genuine. And before this time, I censored myself. I don't know if any of you are in that place, but when you're posting, I would censor myself. Um, am I going to offend someone? I don't really want to be who I really am because I'm tiptoeing around it and I don't really want to cuss a lot. And I love the dirtiest rap music. Like, is somebody going to respond to that or is it not going to be a good thing? Like just certain things. So if you're offended by those things, um, do not follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I should say that. Um, because yeah, my music is a choice. Um, so, but it's just being authentic. He was talking a lot about owning who you are and just knowing the pillars of who you are. I say this all the time to my own team. Beachbody is the commercials of your life. It's not your life. So when someone signs on with you, they're signing on with you for a reason. So show them parts of you. And Beachbody is a business, a company that you're partnering with. That's the commercials of that. It's a huge part of your life. But there are several other things that make you uniquely you. So show them the commercials. Of course, it's a huge part. It's going to be the platform that gets you to your big, hairy ass goals, but it's not your entire life. So share authentically and be genuine. And it also is something key that he talked about that day. Be who you are on social media, off social media also. If somebody meets me in person, which I hope to meet you all someday in person, I'm exactly the same on my stories in real life. It's I'm the same person. You don't want someone to meet you and be like, whoa, like that is not what I was expecting because that's not cool. So just always be yourself. Also be genuine about wanting to make an impact in the lives of others and help them change their lives and their businesses. So these people are not just a success club point. Yes, they're going to get you success club. They're not a number. They're trusting you with their lives, with their journey. Do we go in their homes and push play? No, but we guide them along the way. You hold the key to that. So they are really trusting in you to help them get to that next level. That's a big deal. And it's, it's huge. So the impact that you make is huge. There are people you're making a difference in their lives. It's our job to show them and guide them how to live this healthier, happier lifestyle. That's freaking powerful. So be clear, like, oh, that's the other thing he was talking about. It's emotional, it's mental, it's physical, it's everything. Like my groups are mind, body, and soul. It's not just fitness. It's not just nutrition. It's personal development focused. Music is a huge passion for me. So it's all about that too. But it's just being so clear on your mission. It's crystal freaking clear. It's unshakable. Like your mission, your why, your fight is clear. If it's not clear, that's the number one thing you need to work on right now because there's going to be a day you wake up. I mean, it could be tomorrow. Like, let's face it. Let's be real where you're not going to want to work out. You're not going to want to make the right food choices. You're not going to want to check in with your challengers. You're not going to want to send the invites or the follow-ups. You're not going to really want to post about anything. You have to know what your why is, what your vision is in order to push through the suck because the suck is there. Like I'm not going to sugarcoat that this business is freaking hard, but it's the most rewarding. So get through the suck, be genuine. SC is a non-negotiable. It always has been. It always will be. There are months that are a lot harder than others. I'll be straight up. This month is, it's more challenging for me. I think I'm doing the same things, but it's not flowing as easily. So know that we get you. If you're struggling with SC also, we get you. We feel you. We understand you. We've all been there. SC does not define your worth. 
Your rank does not define your worth. However, when you're passionate, when your vision is clear, when you're doing the vitals, when you are showing the F up every single day, those things flow through you and to you. It will happen naturally when you are authentically showing up. So do not slack. Do not take the lazy road. Like lean into this and that will flow to you. Some months are harder than others. I am not going to BS you, but it will. And it will take you to the next level. So take the massive action. Okay, so genuine. Number two, committed, consistent, and they know where they're going. Um, you're treating this like a job. You're a CEO of a business. Like how badass is that, you guys? Like you are the CEO. Think of other people in this business, which I don't know if some of you are newer coaches, but I think of top coaches, some coaches that aren't even top coaches. I don't follow a lot of coaches. I will say that. I'll go to certain coaches' pages for inspiration, but I follow these people and I see them. I don't follow someone that makes me feel jealous or envious of them because that's not a positive feeling for me. I follow these people and I look at them like they are the freaking trailblazers and they represent what's possible for us. I'm not jealous of somebody else. I lift somebody else up. I celebrate their victories with them. And I look at them like, I, I look at them and I think about the massive action, the commitment, the consistency that they showed to get where they are today. And I look at that like, if she can do it, I can do it. Why her? Why not me? Like, it's that type of thing. So if you are right now following somebody who makes you feel jealous, who gives you a pit in your stomach that makes you not feel good about yourself, unfollow them immediately because that is not where your headspace needs to be. So follow, allow them to be the trail trailblazers that show you what's possible. I always think about, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. Yeah. Melanie Mitro, Ashley Molstead, Micah, like they're all the top coaches, but they have the same 24 hours in a day. They all started the same way that we did. Most of the time we all have the same resources and YouTube videos accessible to all of us. So it's just how we show up and be consistent. It doesn't matter how many followers they have. It doesn't matter how many likes they get on a post. We all start at the same level playing ground. And I know that sometimes that's hard to wrap your head around because you're like, well, she's got 30,000 followers. That's just an excuse that you're, you're giving yourself. So do not even buy into that because someone who wants to work with you doesn't want to work with them. They want to work with you. You have something to offer that that person doesn't have. So represent that. Don't compare yourself to those people. Um, be willing to do the work and effing do it. Have systems in place as a coach and as a leader that makes you confident in what you have to offer. So when you're sending out those coach invites, you're like, hell yes, you want to be on my team because I have ABCD that's going to get you to where you need to get if you're willing to do the work. Like have your systems in place and be confident because for the longest time, I was a shit show. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. I had no system. I'm like, oh, you want to coach? Oh my gosh, what do I do with her now? Like, I don't even know where to put her. What do I give to her? So it's just being really clear in what you want and what you have to offer. Um, number three, they are flawed, which I love. They are not perfect. They don't shit rainbows and unicorns. They are the same as a, they all, they are perfectly imperfect. They are flawed. They do not portray a perfect image. They share the struggle. They share their victories. They don't go on and air their dirty laundry. This is a fine line. Of course, you want to protect that space and you don't want to just go out there and share all this negative. Um, if there's something super personal going on with you, nobody's telling you to go out there and air your dirty laundry, you guys. But I will say there is a way to gracefully share what is going on in your life while showing this light at the end of the tunnel and how what you're doing with your workouts, your nutrition, these groups, your coach friends and family, like with what you're doing, there's a way to show how that's helping you get through it. So show them that part, share that. And you can still share the raw and everything that we have to offer. Like it truly is a total solution that you can give to them. So it's like, oh, Glover just said solutions. That's so funny. It really is a total solution that we have to offer them. So show them that, show them how these can be the tools that help them navigate through that chaos that keep you sane in the insanity. Like it, it's so freaking legit. You guys, what we have to offer can truly help people. So when you are not relatable and when you're sharing this picture, perfect image, that's a turnoff. So share the real, 
when you feel like you didn't want to show up, I mean, like I said, don't go out there and bitch and complain and whine. Like nobody wants to see that, but share if you're having a rough time, share how you got through it, share what personal development quote, help you get through a situation. Like we all are listening to PD. We're all doing the vitals. What piece of that puzzle helped you get through it that day? So, and you'll be amazed at how many people come flocking when you're vulnerable and open like that. They want that piece of you. So, okay. We said genuine, committed, consistent, and consistent and know where you're headed. Oh, the know where you're headed. Let's go back to that real quick. Cause he said something. No one's going to want to get on your train if you don't tell them where the hell it's going, you guys. So share about coaching. This is something where I'll throw myself under the bus. I don't talk about coaching enough. Um, and then I'm like, why am I not getting any coaches? Cause you're not talking about coaching. You're not talking about the opportunity. I had this limiting belief about, well, my checks haven't been A, B, C, D. So I can't really talk about that. Share that it covered your groceries. Share it covered your Target trip. Share that it got gas in your car or covered a bill. Share that it covered your product and that's all it started as. Share whatever it is because that's relatable. Going out and buying a Benz tomorrow is not relatable to somebody. Like, it's just not. So show them where your train is headed and why they need to get on your train, not somebody else's. If you don't tell them where it's going, they're not gonna freaking get on it with you. So like, be straight up and tell them where your train is going. Okay, sorry, because I was like, oh, the train. I just saw my train thing. All right. Genuine, committed, consistent, and know where you're headed. They're flawed. Number four, they are patient. They are always their best challenger. They are always in phase one. They're freaking coachable. Be able to take constructive criticism. When your coach is trying to talk to you and show you certain ways of doing things that maybe have worked for her or sharing certain pieces, or like I said, the constructive criticism, just be coachable, be willing to open the ears and listen to what the uplines are saying or what your peer coaches, sister coaches are saying. It's so valuable. It's a long-term game with Beachbody. This is a full solution. We're not going anywhere. So definitely just be patient with the process and give yourself the grace. You're going to fail. You're going to fail a lot and you're going to fail forward because everything is going to be a lesson that you're learning every single time that it happens. You're going to get coach cancellations and it sucks and it's going to flood your email. And then you're going to be like, Oh my gosh. And then all of a sudden it's like bombs going off and you don't even know. Oh my gosh, I'm in a rebuild. Now I have to rebuild now. Oh, I really thought that she was a lifer. Oh, she really said she wanted to be in it. Oh, I really like, it's going to happen because this isn't for everyone. It can be for anyone, but it's not for everyone. So if somebody decides that it's not for them, bless and release them and don't dwell on it for another second because nine times out of 10, they freaking come back anyway. So let me just tell you that. So everyone has the bad days. Everyone has the coach cancels. Everyone struggles to hit SC at some point. Everyone goes through the ebbs and flows. You're not some rare person that it's only happening to you. It's happening for you in that time for a reason. That's the truth. So also don't underestimate the power of sharing your own story with others. Be that lighthouse because you sharing that kind of it in this weird way, it gives them this permission to share theirs. You're like passing a torch to them to share what's happening with them. And you're giving them that safe place to fall. So if there's a part of your story that you're kind of holding back from, that's a disservice to these people that you're trying to touch their lives. So please do not hold back. Please be 100% yourselves and just be so patient with this process. Show up through the good times, through the bad times, lean into your team. Your team is rock solid. You guys, Lauren is so solid. Like lean into her. Do not retreat. Do not go in a turtle shell, lean in. When you are struggling, reach out to her, reach out to your teammates because they're all going to be there for you and they will help you find the light in the darkness that financially, yes, this business is awesome. Don't get me wrong. We all want to make money. If, you, if you're saying you don't want to make money, I don't believe you. Um, but my number one reason, which has been from jump, is this community. Every single girl on this team that is why I do what I do because this is my family. And when I am at my lowest, I immediately reach out to them in the threads. I immediately FaceTime them. I cannot wait for the next time we're all together. Lean into your team. This is your family. They understand you like nobody else does. 
we all have your back. We will all stick up for you in a heartbeat and we've all been where you're at. So you're definitely not alone there. Um, all right. Number five, this was one sitting. I'll never forget sitting in the chair when he said this, he said, have fun and find the joy. The top coaches have fun and they find the joy. It's hard work. It's freaking grit, but it's fun. If you are not having fun, change it up. Your challenge groups should be fun. They should be something that resonates with you, something that you need. Every single one of my groups, if I'm not feeling the fire, I don't want to show up and it's boring. If it's boring to you, it's boring to them. So make it fun. Enjoy this process. Find the joy in the journey. It's not about your next rank. It, that's not a destination. It's not about, of course, we want to get to diamond and all the star diamonds and we want to build this huge tribe. But once you get to that 15 star, you're going to get to the top of that mountain and you're going to realize there's another peak. New level, new problems, right? There's another peak you want to get to. So don't focus on that. Find the joy in the daily process, in the gritty, dirty, like, oh, this is so unsexy, but we're going to do it anyway because it's going to get us to our goals. Find the joy in that process, whatever that looks like for you. When he said that, I was sitting there like, I'm not having fun. This isn't fun to me anymore. And the minute I switched everything, it was like, whoa, did my business take off? Because that energy was felt. They feel that in your posts, in your groups, when you're sending your invites, when you're sending your follow-ups. I recommend video follow-ups. Like, I'm a, like, you've got to show them that passion, show them that energy. Do not, that's the other thing he said, leaders build their teams. They build a culture. They build a community. Do not let this burn you out. Let it light your flame. Work with people who bring you energy and don't suck your energy dry. Do not work with energy vampires. Bless and release those people right now. Like you need to surround yourself with people that light you the F up in every single way. Because if you're surrounding yourself with people that drain you, you don't have anything left. And that is so lame. And that's not fair to you. And that's not why you started this business. So surround yourself with those people. The beauty, that's why I love this. I pick who I invite. If I don't want you on my team, I'm not sending you a coach invite. This isn't a business of, do you have a pulse? I want you on my team. Now I will work with any challenger. I will say that. So challenge invites to me are something different. When I'm sending invites to coaching, I want to be at retreats with you. I want to spoil you when I get to that level. I want to go to summit and room with you. I want to be on zoom calls and zoom workouts with you. I want you in my tribe. When I'm inviting you to coach with me, I want you at a sleepover at my house and I don't think you're creepy. Like that's what I'm saying. Challengers. I'm willing to help anyone if they're willing to do the work. If a challenger comes into my group and they are bad energy, I will help them one-on-one, -on -one, but they are out of my group. Like it's gotta be your vibe. You have to protect that space that is sacred. You are taking time away from your family for that. You are taking time away from other things in your life for this. So make it freaking worth it. I've almost cussed so many times. Okay. Um, all right. Make your challenge groups fun. If something isn't working, change it. Change it up if it's not working for you. All right. The last thing. Be confident. Oh my gosh. This one is so huge. Be confident AF in what you are offering these people. Do not dilly-dally around this. Do not tiptoe. What you have to offer is something incredible. There is not another company that has every single piece of this solution. We have the fitness that is, oh my gosh, second to none, and will literally kick your trash in your house, in a hotel, in a parking lot, wherever you decide to do it. We have every single nutrition plan that goes with it. We have the support and the accountability inside of these groups that they cannot get anywhere else. They don't get someone that's checking in with them like that. They don't get that. They don't get that support in that community. So we offer something that they don't. Go to the live events. Be passionate about your groups. Go to Summit. Go to Super Saturday. If you do not have your Summit ticket, get there. If you have not been there, it is unlike anything else you will ever go to. Make sure your posts reflect the belief that you have in what you're doing and that drive and that passion. Show up on your team calls. I love that you guys are all here. I appreciate you. I see you. I love you. It's so awesome. Um, share the passion in your invites. The question is, can you scream at the top of your lungs at the top of a building? 
that you are partnering with Beachbody? Or are you like, I'm a Beachbody coach? Like, no, I am a mother effing Beachbody coach. And guess what I can do? Change your damn life. Like, are you willing to do the work? Because if you're willing to do the work, the work's hard. I'm doing the work right now. I'm walking like a baby giraffe. It's fine. Um, if you're willing to do the work, we can get you there. But you have to be willing to do it. You don't have to drag anyone. Do not ever feel for a second like you have to drag someone. They're big girls and big boys. They can do it themselves. But seriously, if they're willing, be passionate about it. Don't dip your toe in and out of the water. Commit right now on this call to showing up 100%, being here in a year, not just in the flesh, but in a way where you are not just checking the boxes on that tracker, you are fully invested. You're not just listening to 20 minutes of PD to check a box. You're only listening to what lights you up and what applies to you right in that moment in time. It's got to matter to you. If you're listening to a book right now that is not resonating with you, cut it. Like, listen to things that light you up. I have a playlist that I listen to every time I send invites because I'm like, oh, girl coming out tonight. Like, oh my goodness, here we go. Like, and I am fired up. You've got to listen to things that fire you up in Audible. You've got to read things that fire you up. Start every single day with your gratitude journal. Search for the good and freaking ray of light out on everybody. Shine so freaking bright. And if somebody comes in and tries to like dim your shit, you shut them down. You shut them down because we do not have a place for them here. Okay. All right. Show them why you're the choice for them. This is so key. Be confident in why you're the one. Not anybody else. Why you are the one for them. Because your tribe is the one for them. Not someone else's tribe. Not Amazon for free with whatever. You are the one for them to help them make this change. And the most important life that you're impacting is the one when you look in the mirror. Like if you impact one life, that's enough because it's yours. You're impacting your family that's watching you every single day. That's huge. Like there's just certain things that are like, even if the only people that see me are my kids and my husband, mission freaking accomplished, you guys. Like you are a better wife. You're a better mom. You're a better sister. You're a better daughter. You're a better friend. You're better in your community. We are servant leaders. Like what we get to do. I'm so, I have hives. I get so passionate about that. It's like, the most rad thing ever and we're paid like is that real life i can't okay all right i'm gonna close well they won't trust the message yeah share your message they aren't gonna tr i know passion sweats oh they won't trust the message unless they trust the messenger and that messenger is you like so they have to know like and trust you so show them who the f you are and show up as your true self in your stories in your posts in your feeds all right, I'm going to end on a quote. Stop letting your ideas and talent go to waste due to lack of confidence. Someone not as dope as you will pass you simply because they believe in themselves more and that shit will haunt you. Somebody's gonna pass you up just because they're more confident than you and they believe in themselves more. Do not freaking let that happen. Do not let that happen. Oh my gosh, you guys are freaking rock stars. And you deserve all the things on all the things, all the things, all the things. And you can get it. But you have to be willing to work for it. Because this shiz is hard, but it is so worth it. All right. Love you. That's all I got. Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I told you guys she'd bring the fire. She is freaking amazing. I love it. The funny thing is, is like I was there. And I'm like taking notes like Bieber. <laughs> well, one, I couldn't find the notebook when you told me what you were going to talk about. I'm like, I can't find that notebook. Oh my but gosh. Two. I was like, oh, I was fierce with notes that day. Fierce. Yeah. Oh, that whole weekend for sure. Oh. Um, but this was so good. This was so good. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. Okay. Do yeah, you guys I see have almost out of time. Did you guys yeah. have any questions, any yeah. comment, anything real quick before her timer goes off? Anybody? Bueller? I appreciate you guys so much for showing up. Thank you, Donna, I really, really appreciate it, girl. I really appreciate yeah. it. All right, you okay, guys. We're going to crush success club. Yeah. We're going to crush the end of the month goals. Yeah. You're going to be fired up. You're going to send all the invites with the most passion and the most energy because those people need to be in your groups. With right, you. right. Go off it right now. Go off that energy. Go off those vibes. Go throw some yeah. invites out. Throw something on your stories. Talk about how much you love this. Shout it from the freaking top of the building, you guys. Love, love it. All right. Love all you right. guys. Thank you guys. Bye. Thank you, Lauren. Bye, babe.